Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back with more 1-2 cash game action. Buying for this game is $200. So for 20 bigs, like, you probably could just jam that free. But I think when they do, like, that min click, we're getting such a good price, we can just take the flop. Here we flop top pair. And go for a check raise. Balls, and then it's a pretty big jam, but I think going to. On double flush drops, just under 2x pot. Falls with ace nine, and we do hold. Nice. Jack 10's good. So we have cut off open. We three bet button. Small blind cold calls. Back over to the opener here. Let's see the four bet. Uh, because they're four betting another player, and it's pretty close. I think I'd fold ace 10 suited, call ace jack suited here. And then we flop the ace. Ace 10 six. Two diamonds. Mostly just don't want to see like a diamond turn. So he bets call. 10 turn. Um, actually shouldn't be a bad turn card. Jams and I think we just call here. Not thrilled but shows ace king. And we're no good. Um, here we open 8-7 suited big blind defense. They lead into me. We're going to raise bottom two. Okay, jam. We snap it off here. Has a seven, two pair versus two pair on the flop. Pretty sick. All right, so we get that all in. Fortunately for us, they're a little bit shorter to start. Open H checks or raise against the limper. They call bet flop over bet turn here. Trying to target all their other ace Ah, uh, it's a bad river. Um, let's see. So I think I'm gonna. It's not a balance sizing at all. But I'm gonna go small to have Kank still call. And then sometimes induce them into doing some crazy bluff, but mostly just trying to make King X call. As a seven, we chop it up. Pretty unfortunate. I was setting up really good after the turn there. The flush draw here. Also have the most five X, so most likely check raising a Sony bets. A good flush draw. So stick to the plan. Puts in another bet. Okay. Um uh, let's see. The problem is it feels hard to get paid. It's kind of annoying because if he has... I guess the king high flush draw just gets this in at this point. So 48 win 113 or out of position. This might be bad on a paired board, but... As ace 5, so yeah, we only got 25%. So get that one in. That might have been kind of bad at that point. I don't think want to call raise full in the flop feels kind of gross. I think if I check raise like the jack high flush drive full just because we have more of those reverse implied odds versus like A, if he has the ace high flush drive, we lose there. So yeah, cut off limp, raise the tens. See the call flop is set beautiful. Love to see that. So bets here go for half. Calls King of Spades turn. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and bet turn as well. Gonna be some rivers we don't prefer, but Queen or Jack of Spades or Clubs would be pretty bad. Queen or Jack in general bad. They raise, we'll just get this in at this point. Hopefully, I have two pair and we hold or something like that. So we get in tens, has Queen Jack for the straight. Very tilting. All right, get it in. Uh, here we get open. Three bet the Jacks, get called bet the King King nine here. See the call to turn. So I think in a value bet turn, this is pretty close. I like betting queens. I don't like betting jack or tens. I don't know about jacks. So I'm going to bet here with the intention to call if they jam. Wouldn't be thrilled. <laughs> um, but I'm going to bluff catch river. Or do I value jam river actually? Oh, I think as I play this, I still jam this. This might have been misplayed by me. Like I said, I like jamming queen, taking this line with queens. I don't know about jacks. I definitely don't want to with tens. And we end up valuing ourselves against king jack. Kind of annoying. Uh, blind versus blind here, we three bet, get called, turn the straight. Beautiful. Hopefully I have a two pair and go for a nice little check jam on me here. Uh, river, don't want to see an ace, queen, or board pair. I don't want to see a club either, but ace or queen. <sighs> board pair is pretty bad. Ace or queen, obviously super annoying too. But uh, board pair is not good. Oh, uh, do I still go for this? I think we do. It's definitely frustrating when he has, I mean... King 10 is at least going to check raise some frequency. Can have Jack 10. 
do i get called by worse enough like king queen and stuff i think we still go if this is like it can't be the ten of clubs but hypothetically if the flush comes in and the board pair i don't think we jam this is the bottom of my value betting range here even if i had queen nine like i'd probably make a nitty check in this line but we'll jam the river so here i'm hoping it calls like king queen it gets really sticky with like queen jack or something just because they have like the really good blockers of like the nutted hands for me so they flop the open under turn a jack if they just think i'm like over bluffing the spot yeah, I think this is the the bottom of my value betting range. And then I'll have my boats. And then my best bluffs are going to revolve around, like, could turn, like, queens into a bluff, honestly. Um, in this line, if I, if I decide to bet turn with them. Pocket nines, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely it's hard to kind of get to a lot of bluffs here. King, queen's just going to want to check down. But we go for river jam, they fold. So open eights get three bet flat here. Check the queen six five. Uh, bet call nine turn check. So do you pick up the gut shot? So they could have hard draws, could have jack ten, can have king ten stuff. So we can just go check check and win sometimes. And obviously the river we can improve to either a set or a straight. So it's going pretty far in the time bank here. Besides the bet three quarters, we're just going to be calling here. And then nine river check. If he bets here, I'm wondering if I ever check jam here. <laughs> um, I guess I'd probably want to have a boat blocker. The reason that's kind of interesting, I mean, I guess it should really matter because he's not going to have nine eight suited betting turn. So the question is like, how thin would he go for value here? I mean, I think it's reasonable about aces. The question is, does he bet full aces? I mean, I don't know if, what size he's going to use if he bets, if he's playing jams or not. So he decides about half. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I ever call. I don't think I'm going to turn into a bluff. I'm trying to think if I can call at this price. So you'd have to be bluffing like the King 10s. I get worried. I actually would almost feel better about calling if he jammed and then the size here. This just feels like aces or ace queens trying to get paid or kings. So even though we'd be getting a worse price against jam, like I feel better about calling versus jam. So I'm just going to fold eights here. So open ace king get three bet. Players three bet's only 2% over 600 hands. So I'm just going to flat here. Ooh, we flop huge. Check, check. I think I want to size this versus them where they'll still call queens and then I can jam river. Jack river. I think we just jam here when they have like aces or queens. I know we blocked the aces pretty heavily, but miss diamonds. Hope they level themselves into a call. As queens, nice. That's what we're hoping for. Ace king wins a big one. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a very unsuccessful cash game stream here for us today. So we played for seven hours, 3,058 hands minus 1,696. Been quite a heater recently and came a screeching halt here today. So hopefully next time goes much better out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video and the hands still, please remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.